what I'm involved in at the moment is a very large study uh, called Growing Up in New Zealand. Um, and in that study, we recruited around 7,000 women uh, in the last trimester of pregnancy. Um, we got lots of information from them, and um, particularly information around what they ate during this time as well. And then we've continued to follow up the infants, uh, now children, from those women, and we've just finished collecting data on them at five years of age before they start school. What we've done throughout the time, both of the mothers and the children, is we've gathered information about what they eat, uh, also where they eat, the sort of environment, you know, whether, particularly when the children are older, if they sit down as a family to eat, eat meals. Uh, and we've also asked them about things like uh, what type of dietary supplements um, that, they, that they use. Um, and we've also collected information on their weights um, and heights and some other um, measurements too of body composition. So we're really concentrating at the moment on the data that we collected when the women were pregnant. And that's been very interesting because we found that uh, women in New Zealand, when they're pregnant, uh, don't necessarily follow the food and nutrition guidelines that are recommended uh, by the Ministry of Health uh, for um, specific foods. Uh, we also found that um, women get a lot of their information about diet and nutrition um, from their lead maternity caregiver, so their midwife, but the most trusted source of information is from their GP. And so this kind of information is really helpful because if we know that that's who they trust to give their information from, then the important thing from that is that we therefore make sure that GPs have adequate training in nutrition so they can support and give relevant advice to women when they're pregnant.